Well, first off, I'm going to say, yeah, I don't know where to actually sit, but I kind of like sitting here. It may not be the best spot uh, t to whatever, but, you know, oh, well. Um, yeah, first off, I'm going to say that I'm sorry that um, I haven't responded to any comments in a bit, and I don't know when I'm going to actually. Um, it's not that I, obviously, I'm not trying to ignore anybody or whatever, it's, so it's not that at all. It's just I am freaking tired. And it's only been, uh, I only ran a flipping game this afternoon. There was hardly anybody really at can games, but I can already see just based on the increase. And then I was talking to Todd, one of the the main organizers for can games. Uh, he was saying that uh, it was uh, the largest pre-registration they've ever had. So, uh, and they've been running it. Well, I mean, yeah, you've also, you know, factor in other things such as, you know, increase in population, so on and so forth. And, you know. Uh, whatever, you get the idea. It's been since 1977. But anyways, um, oh, okay, I'm going to tell you this much, that even this morning, I barely did anything. I spent a ridiculous amount of time uh, outside. Well, I mean, I read, and, you know, the whatever, that type of stuff. But um, I did spend my version of a heck of a lot of time um, doing nothing, just soaking up as much energy as I could from the sun and or anything because I knew I was it was just going to go right out the window as soon as I got the can games it's uh it's tiring for me um it's just so much you know it's just like holy f but like I said it's like till tomorrow it's going to be orders of magnitude beyond belief I'm going to be toast toast uh Saturday so there um I don't even know how I could run a play a game after Britannia and whatnot. There's going to be so many freaking people and dealing with whatevers, but we'll see how it goes. And I do, but it's good to know how tired I am now though, because, um, due to the fact that I, I still have a, some tweaking to do, like I want to make sure I've got everything ready for the Spence and Gable Tannenberg, but I'll, uh, gosh, there's no way I can watch any of, uh, Meandering Mike's, uh, play through for, uh, Britannia tonight. I'm just, I'm like, I'm going to go there's no second sleep, any of that nonsense. I got to get up early for uh, whatever. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow significantly, so which will help the can games people. Uh, like they probably need it, but whatever. Um, but I'll just gonna say this uh, because of meandering Mike's playthrough uh, stuff in his entire uh, series on Britannia. I'm, you know, going to be playing in a can games classic. It's one of those things that's been run for. Years and years and years and years and years, and there's no bloody way I would have uh, played it otherwise. That's pretty flippin' cool. Also, oh, come on. What are the flippin' odds that the game beside me is run by somebody that um, played in my Pocket Battles game years ago, and um, I ended up saying to him, uh, oh, you know, and we were like, oh, chit-chatting quickly. And then I just so happened to say, oh, so what game are you running? And it's like, oh, oh, I just happened to be, of course, he doesn't know that, what I'm into. But it's just like, oh, I just so happened to be running a World War One game. I was like, oh, my G-O-D. I'll just got to say this. Um, look, I, as if I would, that would break every bloody gaming commandment you can imagine. I should be banned, banned you know, like the nether whatever's um when i saw the components they're really flipping good how's that eh um when i saw the components there was a tiny tiny bit i'm not saying i would do it but boy i was like gee i'd like to take them home um hold on here so yeah it does it's weird it didn't show uh like uh, the this program this year doesn't show the actual descriptions you have to go online i don't know if, there we go but uh there it was uh where is he eric uh aaron weir um wings of the baron it was interesting because uh, he was like what the hell are you talking about but i remembered him i was like oh yeah i also saw you on um um last april um on one of Dan Pancaldi's shows um, when he went to Montreal for one of the gaming things. He's like, what are you talking about? Dan Pancaldi, I don't know how to explain him, but he didn't know who the, uh, Dan Pancaldi was. So I was like, whoa, here you go. Blah, blah, blah. Um, whatever. It was, you know, come on, man. I'm uh, Okay, I have to calm the flip down. I can't, well, it's because I'm talking to you guys and it's like I'm, uh, you know, doing stuff uh, or whatever. 
you know, I want to also find out what's going on with Charles's um, D and D stuff. Like, it's just. Anyways, I'm just connecting with you people. Uh, that's that's what I want to do for goodness sakes. But it's also I'm like, okay, Chris, dude. Anyway, so I'm just gonna say, um, whatever. Um, it felt, or it is feeling, and it's going to continue feeling so bloody bloody amazing even though it's it's uh, uh tiring just being around people so many people um to feel so where's waldo-ish uh i guess is the, the way to put it um <laughs> it's like i don't stand out even close it's just so beautiful oh my god i just love it just just love being being in normal land, I guess it's just the way for me. Anyways, I just like, wow, this just is, uh, it's just that type of thing. You know, it's like, wow. Um, yeah. And it is so immersive for me. I, um, I, it's hard to look before the pandemic, uh, the can can games was, um, you know, the highlight of my year. I even said like, Zoe knows this, um, you know, if I moved, I, I wasn't thinking about visiting family or for Easter, Christmas or any of that stuff. It's, it was always, um, you know, would I have enough money to get the can games and back? It's, that's been it. So here I am. Uh, and when I'm there, that's all that matters. It's so beautiful. Oh, ah. it is just so nice. Um, yeah, it just is. It's weird. Uh, I was talking to somebody just a little while ago on a side note about um, they just brought up uh, that they, you know, they're lonely. And um, I realized uh, that's a feeling I've never had. I'm And I'm not being flippant or not being whatever. I'm being serious. Uh, I understand the concept, but I have never felt lonely in my entire life. Um, and I, it's just uh, such an, well, I just don't know what it feels like. So I'm like, I, like I said, I understand the concept, but I don't never felt that in my life. I feel enhanced being around certain people. Like, you know, if I'm talking with Manry Mike, Charles Latora, well, all of you people, uh, you know, Dirk D, you name it, man. Uh, you know, obviously, that's why I'm like, wow, this is so, that's why I love the comments for crying out loud. But I don't feel you know what I mean? Uh, or maybe, of course you do. Like a lot of you do, but, um, yeah, that was, anyways, that when I looked at can games, it's that weird thing that yet again, the connection also, like I said, when I started feeling like I'm part of a gaming community, like on this YouTube stuff and whatever, um, I've never felt, like I said, I've never felt lonely, but it was like, Oh my God, look at all this extra chunk of whatever you you know, that, um, is that could be, you know, you could feel whole or, I don't know, it's amazing. And you can just go, boom, with uh, potential. It's just, boom, like places you've never even considered. Like I was talking to somebody today who's um, uh, was mentioning, uh, you know, they're uh, helping design um, a game or whatever. And I was just like, they were talking about the game design stuff. And I was like, you know, uh, but they were, um, anyways... No, I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, how did the pocket battles go? I think it went well. There was a full six players for a while. Uh, two of them left. Um, uh, they were, you know, had other things to do, but they, they were like, thanks a lot for um, running the game and whatnot. The other four, oh, two of them, I uh, played before. They were repeat offenders. One of them, I was so nice. Uh, like, remember, it's getting to the point now I can't remember names, same as them. Um, uh, sorry, guys, if I'm just not into my face really, to be honest with you. So stare at this crazy stuff. Um, or maybe I'll put on my glasses. You can look at the bloody program while I'm yabbering away, but I'll try not to look at it. Yeah, pocket battles went well. I'll, yeah, if I can tell you that one thing, it was, uh, <laughs> it's, it's reaffirmed things about me about gaming. I suck, man. It was so fun to watch because afterwards, uh, we had an extra person show up. So it was four. I could, I could just sit around and, um, or stand around and watch and, you know, they'd say, Hey, Chris, we got this uh, question. What about this? Or, and it was amazing. I could answer them when it was like that kind of thing. Oh, F. 
But yeah, it just realizes, you know what, I'm not, my strength is not uh, how-tos or that blah, blah, blahs. My, my strengths for YouTube or whatever, maybe I don't have any strengths, uh, but it's certainly not uh, something like you'll see with Meandering Mike doing a how-to or uh, that's just not me, man. Uh, I'm somewhere else. And it, that's, it was nice to know. I tried so many times up here to do another playthrough of my pocket battles thing and it just wasn't working. Uh, but when I sat, uh, sat down with people and it still kind of felt like it wasn't working, but I have this two way interaction of like, uh, Joe, uh, one of the guys there who kicked my flipping ass, like there was no flipping tomorrow <laughs> and, ah, ah, uh, to add insult to injury. He was doing it with the Persians, which are my freaky favorite. Ah, he kicked the crap out of me. It was unbelievable. I was so much fun to watch or experience, whatever you hell you want to call it. And uh, I was like, I didn't think of that uh, combo before. And so on and so forth. It was so fun afterwards because he was playing somebody else. Like I said, I was just wa standing around watching and I could hear the comment. He was talking to this other guy. He goes, and you believe it? I kicked him after he was saying that he was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I love hearing that. It was just like, I just, obviously you want to hear that people are getting into it. And, um, and then later on, just hearing some of the strategy and some the way people were uh, connecting troop tiles together to make super punches. And like I said, Joe figured out this thing with, uh, okay, you want to do the Persians proper? This is how you do the Persians pr proper for one unit. Take the two elephants and add them with a, uh, one of the levies. I think he had seven wounds in total for that flipping unit. And he does six dice, down, uh, roll, roll six dice for hits for flipping sakes on a charge. I was like, what? What? <laughs> then if he succeeds in eliminating you, he can continue charging for one more turn. I'm like, what? Oh, that type of stuff. And then he's like, oh yeah, in this unit, by the way, I can roll. I can uh, hit you with five uh, for four dice shooting. I'm like, oh, didn't see that one coming. So yeah, it was that type of stuff. Oh, it was lovely. And uh, like I said, there was other people. They were talking about strategy stuff. I was just like, I hadn't seen that before. And I, I think I've mentioned this. So where's the? Uh, this is. The, I'm gonna. See, uh, where am I gonna play it? Please, please, please. You should be there. You should be on the other page then, maybe. Yeah, yeah, they said there's tons of people that have been, um, sorry, man, if I'm babbling away, like I said, this is, uh, what I call it, raw, where are you? Yeah, I pre-registered right after that, I said, screw this, I'm going, after this game, I'm going down and, um, uh, popping it in, where are you, man? Don't start effing with me. No, I signed up, I signed up, oh, good notes, I didn't see it there, where are you? How are you? S oh, it's Saturday. That's why. <laughs> ah! Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Where are we? Yeah, I think I know where I'm doing. Like how I'm gonna, Oh, my God. That means it's 7 o'clock at night on Sunday. For, at 9 in the morning, I'm running a game. <laughs> and at 7 at night, I'm supposed to still be at, at Can Games. And I'm supposed to play Wings for the Baron. Well, thank God it's only two hours. Um, but I'm probably just not going to be like, wow, wow, wow. oh, well, oh, well, that's it guys. Um, yeah, it went well. Everybody was happy. It seemed, um, it was even afterwards I could hear two of them. I walked by them and they were, I could hear guys saying, yeah, if I had only thought about this with the, uh, the Celts, and I was like, Ooh, excellent. Nice to hear that type of stuff. Yeah. They seem to be really getting into the pocket battles and it was nice, like I said, to see two people, uh, two repeat offenders. Actually, one of them, uh, Ryan, he's like, oh my God, uh, the first time I played this, I think it was uh, like 12. I'm like, holy cow, that's so cool to hear this, um, you know, that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, I got to talk about 
post games. I got to see Garth. I hadn't seen Garth. And he, he runs a ton of games, man. Well, I'll go take a look at the uh, at the program, man. You can just go onto the uh, the website. He runs like the old school stuff, like melee, and uh, he does a Car Wars thing. And um, he was doing Blood Bowl for a while. He's doing some other stuff. Oh my God! You should see his flipping Twilight Two Thousand uh, RPG thing he's doing. It's pseudo miniatures. I've got to film this. I saw his rule book or his scenario thing. He's like, Chris, I don't really know if people are going to... Just the way he was talking, I'm not... I want to even sign up for an RPG thing. I was like, uh, Garth, man? Anyways, he's like, Chris, I think you may be interested in taking a look at what uh, I did. I said, Garth, Garth, Garth. What you're showing me here, man, is stuff that is at par or... Orders of magnitude beyond stuff that I see from people. I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna say. Well, I wish you were there because I mentioned specific uh, board games that have come out. Um, uh, some from GMT, that type of stuff. And I was like, Garth, you wouldn't believe what I've seen. That type of because he showed me real freaking physical rule book. Like I was like, this looks. I'm like, you did this, and this is just for can games. And he's like, Yeah, Chris. Oh my God. If you don't sign, okay, let's find it, man. He said it was Saturday or something. Oh, sorry. Like I said, this is, just don't listen. Don't watch if you're not into this. If you are, I'm sorry if I'm being a dick by saying, don't watch this, don't whatever, blah, blah, blah. He said it was Saturday, I think. Okay, we're going to look for Garth. That's all we have to do. Let's keep looking. <laughs> There's a lot of Garths. He's doing five games or something crazy. The guy is a freaking game beast time stone. Oh, there's Gilbert Collins. Doing Battle of Trafalgar with miniatures over there. Um, not there, Garth. Not yet. But you will be. Maniac, Garth Elliott. There he is. Can Games. Sprint. Or, yep. Or, uh, yeah, the Can Games. Car games, uh, car wars, can game sprint or something. Um, where else are you? Um, hmm. Come on. Oh my God. No, I can't show you because um, that's not fair. Uh, a name that I think is someone's name. I'm like, what the hell? Are you? Oh, there's Garth Elliott. Sweden versus the Soviets. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. G1. Let's see where G1 is. Because that would be an RPG-ish table, I think. Let's find out. They segment them. Where's G? Yep, yeah, that's RPG. You only ever see RPG down there. Uh, board games are up there on the X, Y, and Z. And then uh, over here, it's all uh, mostly miniatures, except the, as you can see, that's where Steve Larkin would be around there with his um, uh, board game library. Um, so that's it. Uh, so what? When did? When was that? When was the Garth one? Russia versus Sweden or something? And that's like what Cold War stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so that's Saturday. Oh, I can't do that. Jesus Christ! There's no. I can't. Shit. There's no way. There's no way I can do an RPG at Saturday night at 7 till 11. And oh, by the way, I have to be somewhat cognitive at 9 o'clock in the morning the next day talking about um, a hex encounter, World War I uh, thing. And I figured out uh, just by talking to people t today at Pocket Battles that I suck a hind tit when it comes to uh, military strategy tactics. <laughs> board gaming you name it it's just like i'm cannon fodder i'm there to uh bump up the numbers <laughs> oh my god to soften up the enemy before you go in with your good stuff oh lord of mercy okay that's it really um yeah i hope you guys are having a good time man uh like i like i said i need to now crash and burn and then um reboot somehow so uh, i don't know how the heck that's gonna happen i'll have to well no, I'll have to make a fruit thingamajig or something. At least I did my laundry tonight, so that's good. All right. Who the hell cares? This is... Oh, tomorrow I get to do it all. My 
God. Okay, see you later.